Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger, coming to you from Porter's Place in Utah again, and today I've got some big iron on the YouTube channel. Uberti's 1847 Colt Walker. In 1844, Samuel Walker and other Texas Rangers successfully held off approximately 80 Comanches using Colt Patterson revolvers. But Walker saw some shortcomings in the Patterson revolver and wanted to suggest some changes. He liked the idea of a 9-inch barrel instead of 7.5, 44 caliber instead of 36, a built-in loading lever, a fixed permanent trigger guard, and a few other changes. In 1846, Walker saw the imminent approach of another conflict, the Mexican-American War. He wrote a letter to Samuel Colt making these suggestions for a new pistol and asked for 1,000 pieces to be sent to outfit a new military division known as the U.S. Mounted Rifles. Little did Walker know, Colt was out of business due to the general commercial failure of the Patterson revolver. But Colt, knowing such an order was a dream come true, did not want to turn it down and accepted the challenge. He teamed up with Eli Whitney, who owned a factory where pistols could be made. It was thanks to Whitney that the pistols could consist entirely of interchangeable parts made on machines. This is what the final design looked like, and it was named the Colt Walker, sometimes referred to as the Walker Colt, named after Samuel Walker himself. A total of 1,100 were made in 1847, 1,000 for the U.S. Mounted Rifles, and an additional 100, many of which ended up in the civilian market. You may have seen Walker revolvers and replicas used in films such as The Outlaw Josie Wales, but my personal favorite film appearance of the Walker was in the 1989 miniseries Lonesome Dove, in which it was carried by Robert Duvall's character Augustus McRae. This is the Uberti reproduction of the Colt Walker and it's beautifully made. It has an engraving of the Battle of Walker Creek on the cylinder and also the engraving US 1847 in the steel. It has great blued finish on the barrel, the cylinder, and even the back strap, a brass trigger guard, and fantastic color case hardened steel for the frame and the loading lever. It weighs in at just under five pounds, which makes it a little challenging to shoot, but it sure is a lot of fun, and you're going to see it in action in just a moment. As you know, the high fructose gang is constantly terrorizing my channel, so why don't we go outside and see how the walker does against those carbonated bandits. In order to load the walker, I'm going to bring the hammer to half cock to free the cylinder. And I've already pre-measured a charge of 45 grains of 3FG black powder. And I'll put that into the first chamber. Now these chambers were designed by Colt to hold up to 60 grains. Samuel Walker told Colt he wanted a handgun that could knock down an enemy horse. But about a third of those original walkers made were destroyed because the metal back then could not hold the powder or at least the pressure of it. This is modern steel, so you could shoot 60 grains, but over a period of time, if you're doing that a lot, you can still cause damage to the gun. So I'm just loading 45. Then I'm going to take a pre-lubricated wad instead of the usual method I use of putting lube over the ball, and then a ball just on top of the wad, and then I'll ram it down. And I'll just repeat that on all the chambers. The percussion caps I'm going to use are Remington number 10 caps. So I'll just place the cap on the nipple and seat it firmly. And now I'll just repeat that until all the nipples are capped. First, a practice shot on a steel target. today after all. Oh, hold on.
there's still one alive. I'll only give you one chance to run, bandit. Take it, or I'm shooting. So be it. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the walker today as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Oh, sounds like I got a Facebook comment, probably about the post I wrote about buying a walker. Oh, it's from Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders channel. Let's see what he had to say. Okay, I'm sending Brazelton up to snatch it from you. After we have our fun with it, he might bring it back. <laughs> he really thinks the ghost of Bill Brazelton? could get all the way up here to Utah and steal my walker? Oh, Bill! Uh, please remember to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And I've got to go track down a ghost. Thank you so much for watching.